I was watching a golf documentary recently, and they were interviewing some of the top players on the planet. And a lot of them said, when I was at my best, when I was dominating, I didn't like myself very much. And they say that because it was like all about them all the time improving their golf game. I've heard Jordan and Kobe and other people say the same thing. I've, hear, I've heard great businessmen say the same thing. That when I was at my very best, you wouldn't really want to be around me because it's all I thought about. I know when I was at my best playing sports or in school, when I was younger, it was kind of the same thing. You have horse blinders on. It's not that you're like awful in relationships, but you're not... Your number one priority is something else. And it's kind of obvious. It's felt by everybody. If you have supportive people around you, they get it. But sometimes when you're really just obsessed with this thing, everything else understandably fades away, becomes less important. Now, as I got older, I thought that has to be a cop out. You have to find a way to have more energy every single day so that you're peak performing and whatever your passion is, but you're also peak performing in your relationships. Because if you're not, are you really a successful person? In my estimation, you're not. So I had to look in the mirror and really, really think about how can I be great in all of these areas? And as always, greatness is just whatever my potential is. I didn't want to look in the mirror and, or get in the future and look back because I didn't really like myself when I was you know, trying to build this thing or do that thing, whatever it is. I want to be a complete person. So when you listen to these videos, you'll you'll notice that I often say this isn't just about sports, it's about your entire life. Because the way you train your mind, the way you learn to handle things, all of everything we teach here, visualizations, affirmations, learning how to let go of emotion, learning how to talk to yourself. You know, we're tying in rationally motive behavior therapy, some Freudian stuff, some Jungian stuff. Tying in a bunch of stuff, mindfulness. All of these tools, sure, they're going to help you in sports, but they're going to help you in every area of your life. So you should apply them to every area of your life. Visualize the surprise birthday party you're going to throw for your friend or your lover or your family member, right? See it happening. See yourself after putting in a grueling early morning workout coming home and being completely present with whoever you're with. So you start to apply these tools to every area of life. Because if you don't, I just don't think you're, you're succeeding. In my book, you're not successful. And every time I've gotten to the pattern where it was like just this one obsession, I don't think I was successful, even if I was succeeding in that thing I was obsessed about. You have to develop a more rounded view of yourself. I just watched that video. It's on Netflix. And the title of it escapes me right now. It's about the PGA Tour players. It's not what we're saying. I just look back at myself. I didn't like myself very much. And you see these this generation of PGA Tour players like Tony Finau and John Rahm. They're, they're trying to be the best golfers and the best family men they can be. And maybe the best business people they can be as well. It's possible. Okay? So be a well-rounded person. Don't just be an a-hole because you're really driven. You'll look back on your life and you'll have regrets about it, most likely. This is Dylan from Basketball Brain. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Bye-bye.